Good morning everybody, it is 10 a.m. and it is time for GSC at Home, your daily slice of science from the lovely people at Glasgow Science Centre. And today we're going to talk about water. Lovely, crisp, clear water. Now water is an amazing substance because it manages to exist abundantly on planet Earth, not only as a liquid, but as a solid and a gas as well. We can see it as a liquid in our rivers and our seas and in our oceans. We can see it as a solid up at the polar ice caps or at the top of mountains. And we can also see it as a gas in the sky as clouds. And water is a great opportunity to explore the three states of matter because water normally at room temperature is a liquid and it flows, you see it running out of the tap. But if you take that over to the kettle, and you take it up to 100 degrees centigrade, it reaches its boiling point. Once it exceeds its boiling point, it starts to turn into a gas, and it starts to turn into steam. You can see that when you're boiling the kettle. You can see a little cloud coming out as well. Now that cloud isn't actually steam though. That cloud is water turning back into a liquid. That's it condensating. And then you can also take it to the freezer and bring it down to zero degrees centigrade, where it will start to freeze and become a solid, which is pretty cool. Now today, I've got this bottle of water right here. And as you can see, it is a liquid, a nice liquidy bottle of water. But if I was to give it a sudden hit, you can see the water is turning into a solid. Look how quickly it starts to change. It starts to change into a solid. Now that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Don't worry if you missed that though, I've got a few more clips of it happening in slow motion. Now I know what you must be thinking, CJ you're some sort of magician, how are you able to get that water to freeze at room temperature? Water doesn't freeze until it gets below zero degrees, and you're correct, but what if I was to tell you that the water inside that bottle was actually below zero degrees? That water was in a state that we call super cool, and that's where water manages to stay a liquid even though it's gone below its freezing point. And the reason that that happens is even though it starts to freeze at zero degrees, there's a couple conditions that need to be met. One condition is very simple and it's usually met when it reaches that zero degree point and that is a lack of energy in the molecules. Now water has a whole lot of molecules bouncing around inside as it's a liquid. And as it starts to become a solid, these slow down and pack together and create bonds. So we need the low energy, but the other thing we need is something that we call a nucleation site, and that's where the process of crystallization actually begins. Now with normal-ish water, you're probably gonna find some impurities in there, and the water molecule is gonna latch onto that impurity first, and then that's when the crystallizing is gonna start, and it's gonna start to make these bonds. But I was using distilled water that doesn't have any impurities, so there was nothing for them to latch onto. We needed to make something happen for it to latch onto. So that little knock, that little tap, that little shake that I could do, that is what's going to cause it to crystallise. You may have also seen in the pee demonstration as well, I dropped a pee in and then the ice started to crystallise around the pee and then all over the water as well. That was where our nucleation site started and that is how we created the ice. So what you need is some super cool water. What I'm going to show you next is another little demonstration that we can all do together with some super cool water that's pretty fun. So what you're going to need for this demonstration is a bottle of super cooled water. Now I've got some distilled water that I just got from this shop. What you're going to need to do is pop it in the freezer for around about two and a half hours to three hours. And then you're going to need some ice to pour it onto. And what should happen is it should create a nice slushy stalagmite. And as you can see, it's starting to build up. Starting to build up. As you can see, all that ice is forming right around the cup there, it's forming right around the ice. As the water is hitting the ice that we've put on the plate, it manages to build up, it manages to crystallize, and it's created this lovely ice stalagmite that you can create at home as well. So hopefully 
you can get yourself some distilled water and you can join in with this lovely experiment. So, there we have it. We've learned a little bit about water. Now, of course, we know that water boils at 100 degrees and freezes at zero degrees, but we learned about super cooled state where water manages to go below its freezing point but stay liquid. And you found out some fun things that you can do with that. You could freeze a bottle of water in front of your friend's eyes. You could drop some ice or some peas into some water and let them watch it freeze in front of their eyes too. Or you could create a lovely, nice ice stalagmite by pouring that super cold water onto some ice as well. Hope you've enjoyed today's demonstrations. Hope you all have fun today as well. Hope you enjoyed GSC at home. Have an amazing day. Stay safe out there and we'll see you again tomorrow at 10am.